Hello, I'm Frances. I'm one of the instructors for Generation Games in Oxfordshire. Um, we're going to do some Tai Chi today. Uh, Generation Games does lots of other activities, but Tai Chi today, and we're looking at what they call a shibashi, which is a set routine of movements, which is quite easy to have a go at. We all know how good it is to get out and about and doing gentle exercise in an ice green space is shown to be really good and really helpful both for your physical and your mental well-being. Legs gently shoulder width apart. Float your arms up and down. Just feel you want to breathe in and out. In and out. Okay, now I'm softening my knees slightly. I'm going to turn sideways on so you can see that as I go up, the knees straighten. As I go down, they just sink slightly. It's a way of waking your leg muscles up. And that soft knees, soft hips, happens with nearly every move in Tai Chi. It helps with your balance and helps your control. Right, let's take this a bit further, opening the chest. You take the arms up, this time take them out. Bring them back together and down. So you're making a T-shape. But again, you can feel you want to take a big breath in and let it go again. Move on, painting the rainbow. Paint it over your head one way and then the other. Again, if you've got bad shoulders, you can do it from one hand to the other, like a slinky spring. But take it big if you can. Feel how your weight changes from one leg to the other as you twist slightly one way and bend slightly the other. And back to center. Parting the clouds. Again, you find you're wanting to breathe in and out. Legs straighten and legs soften. Okay, rolling arms, push and back. Open hands, push and back. Push, back. And if you're really pushing with your hand, you may well feel all up the back of your arm, how hard all the tissues are working there. And you can see, again, the knees soften slightly one side, slightly the other. So the whole of your body moves gently. Okay, rowing the boat. Put one foot forwards. Hold an open position for your arms, for your hands, and push. Close your hands and pull. So it's doing an oval shape, high and low. Open and closed. Open, close and pull the oars.
down from there. Take one hand across, up. Turn it over and down. It's called off a ball or off a pearl in front of shoulder. You can feel how your movement and your breathing come together. And we've got a lovely day here for filming. Not too hot, gentle breeze, and greenery all around us. And now we're going to take both arms and then one side and then the other. Turn and gaze at the moon. So look at where your fingers are pointing. Again, any bits, any stiff shoulders, sore backs, never force them. Just encourage them to do what they can. Most joints will loosen and work a little better if you just ask them to do a bit and then a little bit more. Back centre. And a third twisting one. Push to the side and bring it back. Push and pull it back. So roughly push to your waist height. So it's a downward push, but not too far. in the clouds in horse starts. This is riding the horse, not being a horse. I'm going to go quite wide, but if you want to just turn your feet out slightly and bend a little, that's fine. If you can go further, then do. And then sit down on your horse, pop your hands up, and you keep your body very still for this one. Okay, because if you were to lean over with the hand, you'd fall off your horse. So keep it straight, keep it strong, work the hands one by one. And just check that your knees point the same direction as your toes. If you find your knees are starting to point to the front while your toes are out, be kind to yourself. Bring the feet in a little bit so it's easier to do. Okay, then we're going to come back up and put the other foot forwards. If you can't remember which one you did before, it doesn't really matter. We'll get to them both. Okay, this is called Scoop from the Sea and View the Sky. So down and up. I also think it's nice to think in terms of, uh, you know, when you're a child, and someone's got that big pile of autumn leaves all gathered up and you just go into them, grab them and throw them everywhere because you haven't got to clean them up. So just think of that joy of being at the sea and going wild or playing with the leaves. Feel how it gives you that little extra stretch Breathe more deeply. Mm. 
Okay, come back. I'm going to swap the feet round. Playing with waves. Imagine you're in the sea up to your chest. Put your hands out, let the wave crash towards you and through your fingertips. And then it washes you back up the beach. Do it again. Push forwards, meet the wave. And back. Again, both knees stay soft. It's easy to let one knee go straight. So if you are, just soften it off again. Okay, swap the feet round again. And flying dove. So there's your wings, bring them forwards and back. Again, the weight goes onto the front foot, onto the back. The knees stay soft. <clears throat> You're probably feeling now how much your shoulders are working. This is a really good one for your posture. Draw it back. Feel your shoulder blades going a little bit closer together with each repeat. And down again. Now, one that's a little more aggressive, we're going to stand square, soften your knees a little bit, tummy in, and you punch. So Push forwards, twist and come back. Push and back. So there's a little bit of oomph in this one. And then flying goose. So for the flying goose, your arms go up and down. Now, if you're able to, you can go on to tiptoes. If you don't feel that safe, or if you've got arthritic toes, any reason at all, don't feel you have to do the tiptoes. Again, breath in and out. Now spinning the wheel, literally all the way round, as big as you're able to make it. And then change direction, go round the other way. This one called bouncing a ball with steps. I think of it as the Thunderbirds, the puppets. Those of you who remember the original puppets, hand and foot. And if you can, you do a little skip, but again, optional extra. And if you find you've got the same, the hands and foot on the same side going, don't worry about it. Just enjoy today. 
And bring it down. And we're nearly there. Take a big breath in. And bring that to your center. It's called gathering the chi, gathering the energy, the breath. One more. 